Hi there! If you're new here, welcome, my name is Jani, and if you are a subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. In today's video, we're reviewing the super affordable 48 Plus Blender Marker Set from the brand Parco. They contacted me to see if I wanted to do an honest video review and send me this set for free. I will give you my honest opinion on these. In the back of the box, it says that they are quick dry markers, alcohol based, waterproof, non toxic, smear proof, and fade resistant. Something I really like is that they come in a very sturdy plastic box. This is the blender marker which I use to create textures on my illustrations. And the set comes with a swatch card which is a time saver. So a plus for this. In the back they added some frequently asked questions in a text format which I find, found really cool. The box has a plastic grid at the bottom to maintain the markers in place. They are triangular shaped which prevent them from rolling on your desk and each one of them has a number and color name at the top and the bottom. As you can see there's a great line in the left side indicating that the fine liner is on that side. No more taking off the caps to check which tip is under. The white side is the chisel tip. Now let's swatch them. Caps does not exactly match the colors but it's not a big deal and it happens with almost every marker. That's why I always swatch everything. This set comes with a good variety for blending and as you can see even some skin tones. There are some colors that are too similar like the browns and I will have appreciated more orange tones. Don't forget to like this video and check out the links in the description box where you can buy this set for only $19.99 at Amazon. They also have an 80 marker set for $29.99 which includes pastels and neons. Here I was testing them and blending the colors and I have to say that I was very surprised. I am not a markers expert and as a beginner I have to say they were really easy to work with and easy to blend together. I used the 93 and 95 and they were almost identical so I used the 97, 95 and 102 to create some dimension. Now the demo. I'm drawing on Bristol paper and created the swatch first of the colors I wanted to use. I took a Skillshare class named Markers 101, the basics and step-by-step -step sketching by Julia Hans. And it was super helpful. She talks about blending colors, how to use the blender marker, and more. If you're interested in taking her class for free, check the Skillshare link in the description box for a free 14-day subscription. These markers were very easy to layer to create different colors. I really liked using Bristol paper with these markers since the ink didn't spread too much and colors looked vibrant. Those white dots um, at the bottom were created with the blender marker. And here I used a Molotov white acrylic marker for the white specks at the top. And here's the finished piece. Colors look vibrant and you can see the ink from the back but it did not go into my desk. Of camera I also created this papaya with a very textured background made with the chisel tip. Overall these markers are great and I can say that they are very close to the big brands out there. I've used Prismacolors and Copics but having a set like this at such a great price is a must. Head over to www.parkoshop.com for more info. Links for the website and social media will be down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, this really helps my channel a lot and allows me to create more videos for you guys. Let me know in the comments which was your favorite color from the set. I am absolutely in love with the number 58 which is mint green light. Thank you so so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!